Hey guys, this is Brett here, and what we're about to look at is a fairly unknown glitch or a hidden command in Gundam EX Versus. It's a movement technique that's been in the game since the arcade version of Full Boost, and it also works on the console version. As of when this video was released, it's also confirmed to work in Maxi Boost, the current arcade version in Japan, so it's something you can expect to see for quite some time. It's extremely potent, and even inexperienced players can immediately incorporate it into their game. Though there are American players who know about this technique, the majority of the scene has been left unaware of its existence until now, mainly due to the fact that it's almost impossible to tell when someone's using it. The few players who know about it have made little to no effort to publicize it, so that's what this video is all about, making sure everyone's on the same page. Doing so, however, is much like opening Pandora's box. Because there's no visual indication, it's very easy to abuse without anyone else even realizing it. There's already a large divide between the experienced and the inexperienced players, and the usage of this boost top glitch has the potential to widen that gap even further. I simply ask that those of you who watch this video use this information responsibly. Please use it not as a tool to win, but to become a stronger player. If you use this technique, you have an obligation to share this video or explain it to those you play with who don't already know about it, because this simply isn't a technique you can stumble upon by yourself. Before I get into exactly what it is and how to use it, I'd like to briefly cover a couple movement techniques to put it into context. Let's start with the boost hop, one of the very first basic movement techniques you learn. You input it by pressing the jump button, or C, during a boost dash. Though you only have to press C a single time without holding it, notice that it goes higher than normally tapping C in the air. You can think of this as a special jump only available during your boost dash. To be specific, there's a window after you boost dash where the C input will give this special jump, and if you wait too long, you'll just get a normal hop. The boost hop is very essential when you first start playing. It gives you a good amount of evasion, buys a lot of time, and covers a great distance, so it's thought of as a strong defensive option, especially for beginners. That being said, there are a lot of situations in which boost hopping isn't actually the best idea. The boost hop generally has two main weaknesses. The first is that during your boost hop, you cannot change the direction you're moving in. The vertical movement you get improves your evasion, yes, but only if you're moving perpendicular to incoming attacks. Remember that beams have guidance, they don't just fire in a straight line. If something's moving at you in the same direction you're boost hopping in, it's extremely common to get hit by it anyways. The second is that boost hopping puts you fairly high in the air. And the more you play, the more you might notice that being close to the ground is often an advantage, if you can get away with it. Being closer to the ground allows you to sneak landings more often, and the more you're near the ground, the more ambiguous your landing timings become. Uh, boost hopping ends up making your landings more telegraphed and makes you more vulnerable to opponents sneaking early landings on you. However, a new movement option was added in full boost, often called a mini hop or small jump. Much like a normal boost hop, it can only be done during a boost dash. A mini hop is performed by holding a direction and pressing C during a boost dash. As you can see, the differences are pretty obvious. The jump is a lot smaller and takes way less boost. It actually only takes a sliver of boost rather than the significant chunk of the normal boost hop, so it's pretty easy to see how the mini hop is a pretty powerful tool when used properly. Okay, so just to recap, this is what a normal boost hop looks like. And this is a mini hop. And finally, this is what we call a glitched boost hop. The boost hop glitch lets you perform a normal boost hop using only the amount of boost it takes to do a mini hop. In other words, practically free. The average 3k can normally do 3 boost hops in succession, but using this glitch, it can get up to 5. The glitch occurs when you neutral jump, aka press C, at the earliest possible frame of the boost hop window. In other words, when you do an as early as possible boost hop. Any later, and you'll get a normal boost hop. Any earlier, and you won't get a jump at all. That makes timing the C button press basically a two-frame link. However, because the key to this glitch is about performing the hop as early as possible, there is an extremely easy technique to make this glitch stable. All you need to do is hold the button down before the window and release as you jump. By holding the C button down, you'll ensure that your jump comes out as early as possible on the exact frame you need it to. Think of it like a turbo button or something. You do still need to let go of the C button properly when inputting the boost dash though. Holding down the second C input will just give you an extended boost dash, so 3 C inputs is a must. Continuing to hold down the C button after you've gotten the jump will consume boost at a normal rate, so be sure to let go properly. 
Also, remember that you must be at neutral when you jump, otherwise you'll just get a mini hop. The best way to practice this technique is to not use your left hand at all. You can actually do this entire technique using only your right hand. Though it costs boost if you continue holding, the initial jump portion is free, so in situations where you want to do long held jumps or swivel to change your face, this still saves a ton of boost. This technique reduces the cost of boost hopping, but it's still just a boost hop. It falls prey to the exact same weaknesses mentioned earlier, so don't just mindlessly spam it. Also, because you have to input the jump portion as early as possible, it's something you can only do preemptively. With a normal boost hop, you have some time to boost dash and then react to the situation before deciding to hop, since the window actually lasts a good amount. You can't really do that with a glitch hop, so it's much more of a commitment. I spent quite some time describing how powerful this is, but be aware that it is not the end-all be-all move. At a higher level, boost hopping becomes increasingly less useful. Though most of the top players in Japan know about its existence, most willingly choose not to use this technique because there just aren't very many situations where it's actually optimal and do the small drawbacks mentioned earlier. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Remember what I said at the beginning, please tell your friends, show this video to them, and avoid abusing this against the unaware. Thanks for watching guys, discuss more Gundam at dustloop.com and come support our side tournament at EVO.